Hello my dear friends I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I am going to prove through this short video that Isa of the Quran and Jesus Christ of the Bible are not same persons How many of you have heard Muslim saying that we also believe in Jesus Some Muslims even say no one is a muslim unless they believe in jesus but my question to muslims would be the jesus muslims believe that is isa is he the same person as that of jesus christ of the bible in the bible the names have significant meanings for example abraham means father of many nations isaac means laughter and jacob means supplanter or deceiver in the similar way the hebrew name for jesus christ is yeshua the word yeshua means salvation actually the hebrew name for jesus christ is yeshua when we translate yeshua into greek it becomes jesus and again when we translate jesus to latin it becomes Jesus in turn when translated to English it becomes Jesus but when we translate Yeshua into Arabic it becomes Yesu most of the Arabic Christians use Yesu for Jesus Christ but Quran got a wrong name Isa Muhammad came in 7th century with a very different name Isa where did Muhammad get this new name isa what does the word isa means does the word isa have any meaning actually the word isa has no meaning isa is derived from gnostic writings they are the gnostic gospels what are gnostic gospels the gnostic gospels the 52 text discovered in nag hammadi egypt include secret gospel poems and myths attributing to Jesus sayings and beliefs which are very different from the new testament true christianity and gnosticism are mutually exclusive systems of belief the principles of gnosticism contradict what it means to be a christian therefore while some forms of gnosticism may claim to be christian they are in fact decidedly non christian if we see the isa of the quran He is very different from the Jesus Christ of the Bible. The Isa of the Quran speaks from the cradle. The Isa of the Quran makes a bird out of clay and gives life to it. When we see these miracles in the Quran, they are very different to that of the Holy Bible. Now Let us see some of the major differences between Isa of the Quran and Jesus Christ of the Bible. Jesus Christ of the Bible is divine. Isa of the Quran denies his divinity. Jesus Christ comes in the name of Yahweh. Isa comes in the name of Allah. Jesus Christ of the Bible is the son of God. If we see Luke chapter 1 verse 35 The angel answered the holy spirit will come on you and the power of the most high god will overshadow you so the holy one to be born will be called the son of god if you see john chapter 1 verse 14 it says the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us we have seen his glory the glory of one and only son from the father full of grace and truth isa of the quran is not the son of god if we see surah chapter 6 verses 101 it says he is the creator of the heavens and the earth how could he have a son when he has no concept if we see surah chapter 5 verse 72 it says they do blaspheme who say allah is christ the son of mary jesus christ of the bible is more than just a messenger and a prophet if you see colossians chapter 2 verse 9 it says 
For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. If you see Philippians chapter 2 verses 6 to 8, it says, Who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Isa of the Quran is just a messenger of Allah. If you see Surah chapter 5 verse 75, the Messiah, son of Mary, was no other than a messenger. Messengers the like of whom had passed away before him. Jesus Christ of the Bible died on the cross and rose again on the third day. If you see 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 to 4, it says, For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Isa of the Quran did not die on the cross. If we see Surah chapter 4 verses 157, it says, They even say we have killed the Messiah, Isa Jesus, the son of Maryam, the Rasul of Allah. Whereas in fact, neither did they kill him, nor did they crucify him, but they thought they did, because the matter was made dubious for them. Those who differ therein are only in doubt. They have no real knowledge, they follow nothing but merely a conjecture. Certainly they did not kill him. So Muhammad got a wrong Jesus, a 7th century Jesus who has nothing to do with the 1st century Jesus Christ of the Bible. So my dear friends, I want to conclude by saying that Isa of the Quran and Jesus Christ of the Bible are completely two different persons. If you see Matthew chapter 24 verse 24, For false Christ and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, if that were possible. So I have told you ahead of time. So my dear friends, Jesus Christ already warned that many false Christ and false prophets will come in his name. So do not be deceived. I want to conclude by saying that all my Muslim friends should come to the real Jesus, the Jesus Christ of the Bible, who is the Son of God and who is God, who died on the cross for the sins of mankind, and rose again on the third day. If you can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you can have eternal life in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So my dear friends, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do share it with your friends and also please do subscribe to my YouTube channel Suman Kumar Polapaka. Know the truth and the truth will set you free. God bless you. See you soon.